what I want to take a look at now is what it means for a runner to be left on base. Left on base. So this is something we keep track of to kind of, you know, sometimes we use to gauge how, how good a team is at, at once the runners get on, you know, how well well are they, how, you know, how often can they can they get them home and to, to score. And so being left on base is, is any any batter that reaches base reaches base but does not score. He does not, you know, complete his way around the bases. So so in in in, in you know this would occur at when when the third out in that particular half inning is is made. So basically if we say, you know, if we have a uh, let's pick a brighter color, if we have a runner on you know first second base and the the third out in the inning is made and the teams go to you know exchange sides then we would have one two runners left on base so you can see here it's pretty obvious that the the most any any team could leave on base in one inning is 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 three and and so and then we can also break this down. There's another little category that we use called scoring position. So, so we say scoring position, and this is this is uh, not necessarily. We don't really. Well, we do, the, it, you will see it sometimes in the in the box scores, and this is basically any runner on second or third base. And so, and this doesn't necessarily have to be at the end of the end of the inning. And where where this comes from is if you have a runner on on, on second or third base, this is generally going to uh, these are runners who will, or will generally be able to score. You know, on a single, you know, to the to the outfield ball hit to the outfield, they will probably it'll be pretty likely that they will both be able to score on the play. So that's why we call this scoring position and so there are some times that we would say that, that you know it's, it's even more important for a team to succeed what they want to do is not leave a runner in scoring position and so the, I think the final thing final just quick example or thing to, to look at is if we have a, a let's say we have a runner on second or first base we have two outs in the inning, and and we have a batter up up to bat, and he hits a ground ball to this to to anybody really. Let's say in this case it's the second baseman, and the shortstop he runs over to second base to cover because remember there's a a force play put on second base due to the to this runner, and so. Generally, instead of with two outs, usually the second baseman he will throw to to second base to get this force out because it's closer, you know, to him. It's a easier throw, so he'll throw and get the out at at this base, and so that that means that this runner is out, the runner who started the play on first base, and so what that would mean is this runner or the the batter here he will go to first place first base and he will have advanced on the fielder's choice and and so even though that this is the third out in the inning what we would say is that, that this 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 player here the batter is is still counted as a player who's being being left on base for that inning so that's runners left on base